It starts from the top. The entire organization really values education. It is given a priority. We set the boys up with everything they need to succeed. And the coaches, down to myself and the, the players, they value education. They know they have to come here and get it done and they're expected to succeed. And luckily we have a good leadership crew who they come in, they come in early, they set the tone, they work hard, and they set a really good example for everybody else. So for this season, kind of balancing the life of, of hockey and, uh, and school, I think it's kind of uh, important to really focus on school when the hockey's kind of been pushed back with, uh, with the pandemic and kind of try and get ahead when, uh, when you can so you're, you're set for when the hockey does resume and you can kind of switch focus and go from there. So we have had to adapt a lot this year. As you can imagine, when it comes to academics, um, all of the boys have had to move to online learning. So that's a big change for a lot of them, especially the high school boys. Um, so we are all, we're lucky to have the space here at the Avenir Centre. So we're all together every morning and everybody is doing online learning, whether it's high school or university. Sarah's been great. Um, she, she's always around for either to, to help uh, me or any other guys in the room. And if any guys have any questions, she's, she's always there. And for us and for me, she's been a big help. We have questions on uh, what course we should take at university. Like if we want to go into a program, she'll, she'll take all the courses you need to have and what you'll need to take in university. And if you're interested in it, like she, she just does everything for us and she's really good. So for our setup here in, uh, in the Avenue Center, it's kind of a, uh, it's pretty unique where we, uh, we were able to stay at the rink for the, the school, then lunch, and then kind of go from right to practice, which is, uh, which is really easy for everybody that doesn't have a car or kind of like doesn't want to go out to eat. They can eat their lunch at the rink and kind of go from school to hockey and keeps everybody together, which is, uh, which is a big thing for us. Uh, the classroom environment been great, I, I find. You know, I, I've been going at my own pace and Sarah's always there for, for me if I have help. So for me, if anything goes wrong, well, she's always there. And again, I, I have the boys too, if uh, I, I have any questions. Honestly, everybody has risen to the occasion and I've been very, very happy with the effort everyone's put in, the way everybody has adapted. Certainly the, the leadership crew has really stepped up and, and set a good tone in the class. We've had several student of the month and it's been hard every month to pick who is going to be the student of the month. I really got to put my time into that and get ahead of academics. So when, when we play hockey, I don't have to focus about any of my schoolwork. I just, just focus all on hockey. And uh, here with the Wildcats, it's our beliefs. We always have to go academics first, then it's hockey second. The Wildcats way plays a big part in, uh, in school as well as hockey. So I think our veterans um, have really stepped up and kind of showing the younger guys how to manage school with the hockey and kind of the stresses of school and getting deadlines done and um, being able to uh, time management their, uh, their things. So I think uh, everybody's done their, their job at kind of showing the younger guys that. And I uh, graduated early in high school, so I graduated in December. I finished my last course. And with the help of Sarah, we found a course at UNB that I was very interested in and I could start a bit, uh, I could get a little head start in in my university journey. And now uh, in the second semester, I'm taking two new courses. Yeah, so my, uh, my passion in, in school is kind of like business and finance area. Um, I love learning about like the, the economy and the stock market and kind of the finance sector. So I think uh, moving forward, I'll be continuing my Bachelor of Business Administration and kind of succeeding in my undergrad there and then who knows where, uh, where that will lead me in the future. Hey fans, this is Jacob Hudson, number 92 for your Moncton Wildcats. I want to personally congratulate our first Rogers Ultimate Fan winner, Andrea Boudreaux. Our friends at Rogers are sending Andrea a new Apple iPhone and 12 months of free Ignite TV service. On top of that, she wins an autographed jersey signed by our team a virtual tour of our dressing room, and a virtual phone call with me. Fans, you still have a chance to win the Rogers Wildcats Ultimate Fan Experience Contest. Visit rogerswildcatscontest.ca to enter now before our next draw on May 10th.